Everybody, welcome back. So you're hearing that wind noise from XP Realistic, but yeah. I uh, also forgot I have my joystick cam on. My bad. <laughs> All right. Um, Captain Rick, Facebook Nick, uh, Ghost Rider One One Five, um, and Haza are all here. Welcome aboard, guys. <clears throat> what is the name of that epic song? Um, the name of that song is i think it's it's called the awakening that's what it's called it's called the awakening um i adjusted some things in obs to make everything look a little bit nicer i did some more color correcting I made the banner look a little bit crisper a little bit bigger but not too big it looks everything i think now looks pretty good and it's all organized better so and there is that anywho um we are here in munchen in the oh we have the we have the wrong flight plan filed <laughs> we have the wrong hold on we need to get the um munkin to hold on uh yeah i filed the wrong flight plan i filed the our next legs flight plan i need to file this one right now real quick um we're easy 55 60 uh, and that's good. I'll just uh, let that generate real quick. Uh, Arthur Hank, welcome aboard, Arthur Hank. Is the A321 good? The yeah, I'm gonna let's head into the cockpit here. Uh, Nero and Drywater are here as well. Welcome aboard, guys. The A321 is good. I like it. It's pretty. It's an, it's an okay aircraft. A solid um six or solid seven or eight out of ten. I'd, I'd give it. Uh, I'd easily give it that. Also, we are overclocked to a, a, a very nice 5.1 gigahertz. Now, uh, now my CPU just firewalled because X Plane's trying to load in something. But yeah, uh, what's your favorite airplane in X Plane 11? Uh, probably this one, the Flight Factor A320. If I'm going to be completely honest, I really do love the Flight Factor A320. Uh, yeah, FPS is a bit okay. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Um, so yeah, welcome aboard, N uh, Nero, Captain Rick, Arthur, Drywater. Welcome aboard, guys. For weaker systems, yeah. Um, there we go. So let's go ahead and connect your ground power unit. You can also open the door. Or sorry, the fuck. I keep on saying the door. You can open the window. Uh, and uh, there you go. So we're running the Mata- you look cute today, I know, I did my hair, I spent more time on my hair today. Um, this is the new Matavia mod, and it looks- I think it looks really good. The new Matavia mod, okay, um... <laughs> nice, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and file in our flight plan and all of that jazz. Is this the 319 or 318? This is the... Uh, 320 here, O'Brien 06. 320 by, uh, Flight Factor. Alright, let's head up top. Let's go battery 1. Battery 2. Extra power is available. Hands on. 
arm on nav light on on captain and purse and then we'll go nav 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 and that's good for now let's head down to the mcdo actually i'm gonna go hpa and then we'll head down to the mcdo and get this all set up here so we're looking at munken to berlin teagle Flight number is easy, uh, 5560. Alternate is going to be EKCH, 8350 baby bus, lol. Uh, did I like change the title or something? Uh, yeah, no, never mind. All right, cool, whatever. Uh, EKCH is our alternate. IRS align on ref confirm. Flight plan departure runway two six right. Uh, oh yeah yeah Finland. Oh baby yeah we're going to Finland um shortly after. Um, or actually we're going to Denmark. Sorry, we might do Finland later. I don't know. Uh, all right. So from input, we're gonna go uh, Airways Yankee one o two. To Upala, and then Mike seven two six to Alaska. And then we're gonna go temporary flight plan Berlin arrival runway two six right. Mylas two six right. We're gonna go Milgavid three. Go and Milgu, so there we go. And let's clear the discontinuities. Alright, let's make sure that the flight plan looks good down here. That's a decent arrival. Insert that. Uh, no Finland law. Yeah, we're going to um, uh, Denmark today. So from Tegel to EKCH, that is via, if I can find it, uh, hold on, yeah, Rakit, 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 and then Mike725 to Laris. Mike seven two five two Labis. Then we're gonna go arrival runway three zero three zero Monac two D. There we go. Insert and clear that discontinuity. And that's in. We'll go secondary flight plan. We'll put in Munkin to Munkin. And then we'll go uh, arrival. Let's see. Our winds is 240 at 11. So we're going to go runway 26 uh, right. And then we'll go to the progress page. We'll put in Berlin. And then we'll come down here. We'll go cost index is a nice five <laughs> and we're taking it out to three zero zero okay uh wind data that's fine uh we'll go perf down here let's come down here select that you know you can get your pa sounds on here if you select this ladies and gentlemen but we're not going to do that because it sounds like shit so yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're taking it straight up to 300. So. Yeah, uh, VR, VR, constraint, airport. Uh, okay. Um, 1014. Alright. Cool. Let's come up top and let's uh, test these guys. Test this one. And then 
this one. Alright, uh, let's go. Fuel pumps. EPU master. No smoking. Or sorry, seatbelt sign. On as well. Streaming time sucks. Having dinner very soon. Soon we'll try to be there. Van. Oh man, it's, it's, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Uh, okay, let's go down here. Let's go... Uh, fuel truck. Let's go down here. Just suck the Lufthansa one. Let's get our fuel truck here. Uh, there it is. Drive it up. Alright, so we'll call the fuel truck here as well. Get... And our tanks that we want to take is 6410. So, 6410. There we go, and we'll uh, give it a second or two. Uh, wind data, we'll put that in now real quick. Uh, it is gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be 350, 251 at 27. 251 27 at 350. I'll just pop it out, makes it much easier. 243 at 18 at 310. Now, this thing actually affects the top of descent, so that's why I'm putting it in. Uh, then. There we go. Okay, and then, uh, Lonely or Alaska? There we go. Lonely is with 9 at 20. And then Alaska is 8 at 20. Okay, and then descent wind, uh, 308 at 22 at 350, 308 at 20 at, see ya, alright, see ya later dude, 310272 at 25 at 200, 274 at 25 at 150, 79 at 24 at 100, and our alternate, is going to be 270 at 15. So that's good. And update. That's good there. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Um, let's see. Pop this up. So stupid, you update the, and then you load in and ask for key again. Okay, fine, but now it's saying I ran out of activations. Uh, let's click on set. Let's see. There's the truck. We can get him out. There he goes. Uh, yikes. <laughs> okay. Quick remove. We'll go passenger cargo. We'll call in these guys. Let's also start up our APU. Holy FPS, dude. No clue what just happened. Getting like. Okay, whatever. Uh, call will go to gate. There we go. Now we want a zero fuel weight here of uh, 60.5. So, yeah, we can put in a lot of passengers. Let's say up here. Set. Then. We still need a lot, so, um, we'll remove this guy, open up the baggage loaders, so we want a zero fuel weight here of 60.5, so, uh, we currently have 53, okay, so 60, 500, 53, 438, which is 7062. 7062. And set. 
remove, and that's all good. So let's click set down here. There we go. Looks good. Uh, beacon light. There we go. Give you a blade. And let's uh, actually hold on. APU should be available, so extra power and supply off. Looks good. Uh, how many times did you activate it until uh, uh, same for me, that sucks. Uh, I've activated something like five times before I can't activate it anymore, maybe five or six. So here's the thing with the the 350 and the thing I find um, so I bought mine from Aerosoft and if you buy it from Aerosoft you don't update it via X updater you update it via Aerosoft you just download a fresh copy which is why I always recommend buying things from or try to avoid buying things from the store xplay.org store uh, if possible so yeah that's why I don't have any issues but uh, yeah Okay, um, we'll go packs off and push back tail left. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. We'll go engine start. Sod X plane, then lol F128 is. <laughs> nice, dude, nice. <laughs> Airsoft stores are more expensive. It's cheaper for me. Um, it's actually cheaper in the U.S. I think it might be. It might be more expensive in the. Um, it might be more expensive in the, you know, Europe because of how that works. Um, because of the VAT tax, but there is no VAT tax in. Um, in the US, so it's cheaper in the US usually. Yeah, 20% VAT tax. So that's why it's more expensive for you guys. You have reached your exit. Okay. Right, so All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Six on break. Two. So flaps one. Up 0.2. Uh, flexing on out of here uh, at about. 42 and there are our v-speeds dust reduction i think is 29.87 but 29.90 works as well uh, and then the rest down here is all good and the cool thing about this one is you can actually hit the um cockpit video the only thing is it doesn't work which is a bit of a bummer but yeah how connected and bypass been inserted. Release parking brake. Alright, so we're gonna take off to 26 right. And you may stop the engine. So that means. Uh, Alright, cool. We'll go engine number 2. And. <coughs> there we go. It's all good. Now, one thing I have with this, I don't know if it's using my uh, filters, if it's using my compressor. It is using my compressor and it's it's not clipping, but if I really talk, yeah, it still doesn't clip. Okay, that's cool. Interesting. Very interesting indeed, but that's fine. I'm not really gonna be pissy pissy about that. They apparently added a bit better windows or something. There you go, the windows now look a little bit nicer. Okay, we'll start up engine number one. There we go, we'll <clears throat> start up engine number one. I'm gonna let you guys listen to the uh, uh, engine sound there.
Operation complete. Please set parking brake. All right, and we'll get the flaps out. It's Again, I'll let you listen to the uh, sounds here. So look at those flaps and the, the PPR off of it. It's so nice. <clears throat> you listen to those hydraulics. That's pretty dope. Okay. Let's go into the cockpit here. Uh, that looks good. We'll go mode normal. And we'll go chrono. Auto brake max. Going up 0 0.2. And we'll go. Now it's disconnected and bypass the signal on the left. I'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Ah, alright, so let's go down to the FAP page. And. We um, have the checklist here. Um, FMGS setup and all of that. That jazz. Browser source as well. States, autosave, turnaround, map, FAP, all of that jazz. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do a takeoff config test, and let's get on out of here. George's FS videos, welcome aboard, George's FS videos. Glad you can make it. Glad you can make it, dude. Welcome aboard. Look at that PBR. Oh man. That is gorgeous. got this little scrolling thing that we can use that I adjusted to my uh, uh, my throttles just good all right so we're gonna take alpha 12. Mopar is in the house. Mopar, dude. 426, welcome aboard, Mopar. Welcome aboard. I might do a little bit of color correcting, a little bit more color correcting on my, um... How are we doing today? We're doing fine. Because the white balance is a little bit off on the webcam. That's the only thing. I might have to edit that. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. Damn it, I'm hungry now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Alright. We want to go Southwest style. 
There's Alpha 10 and we'll take Alpha 12. Yep. So this one up there. There we have the Munich M. Which is uh, nice. bit fast here. Alright. Damn, explain. Yes, as soon as I see Mopar, I want hot dogs and burgers as well. Uh, XP Aviation. Welcome aboard XP Aviation. Welcome. Welcome, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's as soon as I see Mopar, I want hot dogs and burgers. <laughs> Damn, x -plane store took eight minutes to reply to my email to reset my key. Nice. Nice, dude. That's actually quicker than I thought. Not even gonna lie. Alright, land lights. Those light. Grove lights. Bing bong them. Chart the chrono. Just hit, yeah, with a like. Thanks, smoke bar. Thank you, thank you. Toga in chat, oh yeah. Alright. And there's a joystick cam, now check this out. Boom, got lights for it too. It's pretty nice. Approaching, two, six, right. Has anyone seen rest and resticles in the same room? I think they are the same person. <laughs> nice firm grip on that stick. Oh yeah. Let's see my veins are on runway two six right. All right. Let's go. Flex. Man, flex. This is the climb runway nav. Hundred knots. Neutral. Right gear coming up. Shake and bake. Oh, yeah. Start that, um, turn here. All right, thousand feet. We'll go autopilot. Okay, come on. Matavia mod? Yes, we are using the Matavia mod. Vess, welcome aboard, Vess. Glad you could join us. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring down x -Plane's volume a little bit. Here we go. And let's go... Uh, what was I going to play? Yeah, EDM. Okay, cool. But look at that departure. This is the extended LOD uh, thing. And you can really see it. it. It's like really good. Look at that. 
all of this lot is loaded in by X-Plane. Looks really good. So, all right, passing through a transition altitude. Uh, not what to do. Beautiful. Okay, this EDM music's a little bit, a little bit loud there. Beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, Matavia mods. Uh, pretty good. This is the Matavia mod 4, or the newest one that I installed. Uh, hey, I was watching a poor, poor Telos mukbang this morning in Chicago. Never seen a hot dog look so good. Nice. I haven't had a good hot dog in a hell of a long time, so. That, there is that. I mean, the fact, because the thing is, there's always this LOD, the fact that it, it renders it all the way to the, almost to the horizon, really, well, not really to the horizon, but really a far, you know, it really goes far, farther than the other one. No. Now, that's funny that you say that. I had a, uh, how do I, how do you, how do you pronounce it on Tuesday? Oh, look at that sounds and just climbing on out. All right, passing through 10,000. So we'll go landing lights, nose light, seatbelt sign. Here we go. Oh, baby. And it looks good. I like the weathering on the wing. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, looks amazing. Oh, yeah, dude. It looks really good. At the expense of a few frames, I got it to look a little bit, but I'm actually a lot better. Yeah, so, I mean, it just looks so, so visually stunning. Uh, yeah. Oof. Just look at that reflections off of the wing. It's just incredible. Uh, what's the FPS right now? 40. Uh, 40 FPS with the extended LOD um, add-on. So with every aircraft, I have the extended LOD to FPS target at 45, 50 FPS. But with the flight factor, I put it to 35 FPS because the flight factor, I only get it like 45 FPS at the max. Um, so I set it to a little bit lower uh, so we can get that extra view distance. Most immersive plane in my opinion? Yes, same here, I'd agree. Very, very immersive plane. Are you a real pilot? Oh yeah, for sure. So I actually um, got a request to make a, a list for, um, a list for uh, someone that wanted a PC. Um, hold on, check this out. I actually changed a lot of it, so now I forgot to put in the audio mixer. Hold on, give me one second. Okay, there we go. I forgot to put in the audio scene, so there was no audio. But now there's audio, so that's all good. Okay, so, um... This guy wanted a, um... Uh, hold on. Yeah. Okay, so this guy wanted a, um, a PC for X-Plane for $1,400. Um, he wanted it, yeah, he wanted it for $1,400, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. I think we can do that for $1,400. Uh, so, let's see. For fourteen hundred dollars, what can we build? Uh, he wants it for fourteen hundred dollars. Um, yeah, let's let's see what we can do for fourteen hundred dollars. Uh, hold on, if I open up my YouTube, so he, he said he wants a, a PC for X plane, 
that will cost fourteen hundred dollars, and he wants it to. Where is it? He he says without just the PC, no monitor, keyboard, mouse, and he will not be streaming or editing. So purely for X Plane, which gives me a good, um, you know, a good thing to deal with. So. For a case, we can build a pretty good case. The fractal design, the Meshify. Um, they have the Meshify C, they have the Focus, the Core. Uh, we're looking at just an ATX mid tower. The Meshify C or the Focus G. We're gonna go with the Meshify. This is a black, and you look here, we want tempered glass. Uh, and then there's tinted tempered glass, which looks really good as well. And then there's the Define. Um, so for NZXT cases, here's the thing with NZXT cases. With NZXT cases, um, they're not they're not known for their airflow. This is the NZXT H700, I think H700i. This is what it's no this is what's known as the brute force airflow. So the way this airflow goes, it's brute forcing the airflow, and it works. That's the thing. I love NZXT's cases as in like how they are to build in and the overall like aesthetic um, and cable management and everything. But some of them don't have great airflow, but this is the exception. The H700 and 710 use a more brute force air airflow. So it works. It's just, it's a bit, it's a different technique. It's, it's like, okay, you know? So we have the Define versus the Meshify. Look at the difference. So this is like gunmetal. There's one fan there. Um, I, I think this comes with... No, it just comes with one. Both of them come with one. We're going to go with the Meshify. Because of the... I think the price of the Meshify is a little bit less. It's a little bit yeah, less, yes. And there's black and white. And this is the... Um, this is the tinted, tinted tempered glass. This is the white. I think we'll do white because you can make it look aesthetically pleasing with that easily. So as far as case fans go, and added new case fans, yeah, we'll, add, we'll put in different ca custom case fans for this fellow. Um, let's go storage. So for X-Plane specifically, I want to put in a, um, a cheap NVMe, which is usually the Sabrent rockets. Have some cheap NVMe's for like under $60. You can get a 256 gig. For the base sim and um, that, and then we can put in a nice, um, for let's say under $112, 7200 RPM, and capacity, it's bringing that up. So a four terabyte, uh, let's bring it up a little bit more. A NAS, um, and then the Seagate Enterprise. So look here, this is say at a 12 gigabytes a second, and it's six terabytes, so that's, that's actually pretty good. Um, so say to 12 gigabytes per second. Um, it's an error. I don't know if the motherboard has, if the motherboard doesn't support that, we can obviously find a different thing for that, but let's go to the motherboard. Yeah, this is the only motherboard that works with the SATA. If you look here, 12 gigabyte per second SATA. So obviously that's a bit of a hindrance. Um, we'll worry about the second drive later. Um, for now, we've got the video card. So he spent 147 off, right? And it's 1400 off of 100 and let's say 50. Divide that by two and that's about $620 for a graphics card. So with this, the 2070 Super is probably the best bet that we're gonna hit, a 2070 Super. Uh, I like EVGA's uh, XC Gaming, XC Ultra Gaming is top of the notch. For ASUS, you can get the Strix Gaming. Gigabyte, you can get their Wind Force. Uh, there's also their gaming OC, um, and their Oris. The Oris ones are their top and uh, top line ones. MSIs have their gaming X, which is a bit meh. So EVGA, the Strix, or the Oris. This one, 
boost clocks up to 1905. This is 1830. You can get a 1930. Yeah, okay. And this is 1800. We're going to go with the Boris one because of that boost clock that it, it comes out with. So it's $700 so far. Let's go with a motherboard. Z490. Uh, and let's put it for about under $180. So from AS Rock, we can get the steel. Let now hold on. I do have. I do have. Uh, let's look at the end. Uh, let's see. There's a Z490. Yeah, there it is. Z490 tier list or whatever. So let's take a look. So for this one the top of the line. Uh, let's also go with the regular ATX form factors. The Phantom Gaming 4. So the Phantom Gaming 4. I don't even want to comment what the heatsink looks like. Yeah, it's out of the... So Extreme 4. Rear IO uh, lacking... Let's find then Steel Legend. Uh, Steel Legend, bit cheaper, kind of overall. Four layer PCB is a bit. Then the Pro 4. Same as ATX version of board note supply. So the Z490M Pro. Okay, overall, do not buy disappointing. The Phantom Gaming 4. Uh, yeah. So AS Rock, let's go Asus, the Tough Gaming or the Prime. So the Tough, the Prime dash P, decent value. Yeah, okay, so we'll go with the P, seems good. And then the Tough Gaming, Tough, uh, six layer PCB. The Prime has, uh, hmm. Tough gaming is pretty decent. Yeah, we're gonna go with the prime board if we go with Asus. So, yes, I don't even know that. Manufacturer. Gigabyte has a UD. The UD, I guess, for locked chip, this would be fine. Just don't bother. Oh, so no. Gaming X and Gaming X. Uh, gaming X. Six layer PCB. VRM. Uh, if you get the Wi Fi. Yeah, okay, so let's go with the Gaming X seems good from Gigabyte. MSI has their Gaming Plus and then the A Pro. So. The A Pro is, uh, yeah, uh, Gaming Plus. Yep, nope. <laughs> NZXT, I don't think NZXT makes Z490 products. Uh, or they do, that's not, if they do, it's not in this price range. Yeah, they don't. They make Z390, I know that. Uh, let's make sure I didn't miss anything in chat. I'm looking at it and it's, from what I look like, it looks like it's up to date, yeah which is uh, all fine. All right, so it's between these two, really. And this is 160, this is 100, so they're both the same price-wise. As far as like overall aesthetic, I think the Prime looks a little bit nicer. Um, this can take up to 4 to 600, this can take up to 4 to they're both the same. PCI slots, M.2 slot. Uh, two USB 2.0 headers, two, so two, two. And then one one, so less USB headers. Um, and this, I think we're gonna go with the Prime board if I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> now let's also make sure that we're not gonna miss our top of descent. Uh, Ninety-seven nautical miles, so we're we're fine. Uh, That's good. 
Okay, um, so it comes up to $897. As far as the CPU goes, I think we can spend, well, let's, let's see, hold on. Memory under uh, about $170. Uh, we want the this to be under, I think it was 10 nanoseconds, which is 16, no, it's 8, hold on, uh, 8.75, I think. Eight point seven five. okay. Yeah, 8.75, and the most we can get, 4400 CL19. Also, we can get the most amount of modules is 16 gigabytes. Um, let's say we spend a little bit more. We can get 32 gigabytes of 3200 CL14, which is a winner. So we have about a couple hundred left. Uh, we might have to adjust some things if we need to. Um, let's go with uh, the 10600K. It's probably his one so they also have the 10 850k apparently intel's gonna release that let's go with the i5 the 10 600k f uh, there we go uh stock cooler and that's fine 1350 we're gonna have to adjust some things here uh cpu cooler we're gonna go with um, for like, let's say about $85, we can go with a 212 RGB edition, or let's see what we can get with the Noctua's. Um, we can get the, none of these are the, the D14 is okay, but NZXT, nothing, Corsair, nothing, Cooler Master. You have those things be quiet. Dark Rock Pro 4, uh, which is noticeably better than the, this one. This is also this one. I think we'll get the Noctua D14. We'll get this one. It looks much cleaner, really. Uh, $840. Go with the power supply. We want 80 plus at least gold. Um. And we want it to have the 2x EPS 8 pin. One of these guys, any of these guys, for under $120 if we can. EVGA, Seasonic, Focus plus Gold, uh, Straight Power 11. I'm gonna look at the. It's Platinum, 550 watts. That actually might be really good. Um, let's go with the Straight Power Gold one. That's good. Yeah. 550 watts should be enough. Video card. Let's see. 14, uh, 1400 minus 963. So $437. Let's say $450. I can do a little bit of adjusting. A 2060 Super, 5700 XT. Uh, let's see. Uh, X-Plane 700 XT versus 2060 Super. Let's see. Uh, yeah, huh. Let's see, uh, it does actually really well on Vulcan. On Vulcan, a 5700 XT will perform well. So we'll do that for sure. We'll go with the 5700 XT. Can we get a 2070 Super? No, we cannot. 2070 can, but yeah, we'll just go with the 5700 XT. Um, let's go with the highest boost clock. The Strix Gaming OC is really good. 
has the highest one. It's cool. Do that. Cool. Uh, so 1400. Exactly 1400. And he, but he want, he needs an ortho drive. So let's let's see what we can cut down on. Um. I honestly think we'll ha we'll see what we'll do for RAM, but for storage, I want to put in like a cheap or a fairly inexpensive 7200 RPM drive that's under 112 bucks, so the capacity can be like a 3 terabyte or even 2 terabyte drive. Should be good for, you know, getting him started. Um, like 1279. Let's say we want some case fans. Um, I want to say uh, that we could put in 360 millimeters in there. Uh, let's say we want case fans, um, a three pack of uh, three pack of 120 mil. And these are all like, yeah, let's say we want it for like, um, 40 bucks. By Be Quiet. Now, how much Be Quiet's charge? Arctic uh, Cooler Master. They have theirs. They have a Sickle Flow. Um, Corsair has their AF things. Um, I mean, for... You can get these guys. They have the different colors. I think the best color that would complement, but there's also the IQ, and those things cost a shit ton. Noctua fans. Uh, if not, we don't have to put in the, the three pack. We can just go with this. Doesn't really matter. We just need better uh, 120 mil fans. So the sickle flow, yeah, we can ignore that. Uh, let's see how far. We should be closer to a top of descent pretty soon. So. As far as the individual fan goes, um, ideally under like 25 bucks per fan would be good. And we can get these guys. The black ones look really good. They'll really complement it. Um, IP67, I don't know why it has. Cool. This one looks really good though. That's from Noctua. Corsair has their IQ. SP120. Uh, this is in black and red. This is in black and it's customizable. Cooler Master has their all of their things. We can see what they have to offer. Be Quiet has their Pure Wings 2. I know those are pretty good. Arctic, we can get the... Let's say Airflow is all the way up. This one looks really good by Arctic. Some of these really freaking like clean general um and then as far as cooler master goes colors that would complement a white is a very light blue or purple color and this is the master fan so let's say we go with halo so as far as just pure performance goes this will easily do you the best Go to airflow and quiet when put on a fan curve. Uh, positive pressure build. It's not the quiet. Oh, noise level is super high. 43. 636.9. Uh, where's the noise flow? Okay. I think it's okay, but as a first, I can't see too much. It's alright, color. Certainly strange that the cost isn't worse than the one for you. Uh, Arctic fan. I mean, this looks meh. This looks clean as fuck. This looks okay. What's the difference between these? Um. Uh. Seem the same. Okay, uh, this is the Pure Wings 2. 
I know this is gonna be good. This is the cooler master master fan. Uh, it can go up to 1800. This thing can go up to 2000. This thing is up to 1800. And I think we're gonna go with the Arctic one. I mean, it's just dependent on RGB at this point. Uh, we'll go with the Cooler Master, yeah. We'll add in three of them. One, two, three. Hopefully we have enough fan headers. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so we have about ten bucks left. Let's say we go like a little bit above his thing. Can we get, we can get 32. It's just, it's, it's okay. Um, let's say we go uh, 32 gigabytes. What's the lowest, um, what's the lowest latency that we can possibly, it's 10 nanoseconds, it's fine. We'll go with this one. You're good looking at a fairly cool looking... It's going to look pretty sick. About $60 above his um, price range, but it is going to be very, very good. So, there you go. Uh, we're coming up on our top of descent now. Which is good. So let's go back to in-game, and let's go, uh, flight plan, let's bring this down, going down to 3,000, let's go, 3,000, and then as far as the data goes, alright, let's get the data in for this, uh, da -da 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 -da. So, uh, 290 at 6 knots. Temperature is 21 degrees. QNH1010. Transition altitude is 5000, that's fine. Um, what runway are we like? 26, that should be fine. Uh, and then for 26 right. Uh, ILS 26 right, okay. Looks like. We're gonna go 168 right here, and that's good. Okay, that's all in. We're now uh, on our descent. Here we go. On our descent in. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm gonna actually send him the PC that we built uh, to that guy that asked for it. Uh, where is he? There we go. Starting our descent in. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. So we're starting our descent in. Wonderful. Oh, oh, oh. Rowan 
802 has subscribed. So welcome aboard, Rowan802. Welcome aboard, dude. Welcome. Glad you could join us. Uh, welcome aboard, Rowan802. Welcome, dude. Thanks for the uh, subscription there. Huge escorts to you, dude. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, man. We can get our little sun protectors. Uh, our little sun, sun visors down. That's something you can't do in the toll. Actually, this is how you flex on all the, on the tallest nubs. You just do this, right, and then you go like this. This is the ultimate tallest, tallest flex. Like that. That's just how you flex on the tallest people. Uh, so, just starting a 17-hour flight with the A350. Nice, dude. Nice. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun, dude. Jesus, 17 hour, wow. <laughs> uh, we might, I might do a A350 long haul on uh, Twitch today at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. It means we'll start at 9.30, we'll end in the morning, uh, which is good. <laughs> No, okay, so this is not ortho. This is ortho. This is the default X-Plane scenery. Um, it blends decently well. I mean, it's it's okay. It looks okay. I mean, I'm not. It looks okay. I mean, yeah. I'm doing the same but not stream, yeah. Nice dude. Uh, if you if you do want to actually catch us on um on our stream there, you can go ahead and follow our Twitch. Uh, it should be in the description. Uh and no, it's not in our description, but maybe someone from one of our mods can grab it to you. And if you haven't already, make sure to join our uh, Discord as well. Have you of J Bro? Uh, J Pro, as in what is J Pro? I have no clue what J Pro is. Uh, I've heard of no, I have never heard of J Pro. What is J Pro? But our approach QH one zero one zero. Uh, what is J Pro? Uh, also, we'll be taking. I'll go auto brakes medium. The sooner we can vacate, the better. Well, we don't need it. We'll just go with low for max realism. They're making an A three eighty payware quality for free. Oh, huh, interesting. That's actually quite interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so basically for the Twitch, how the Twitch stream today is going to go is we're going to do a quick little hop in the, um, in the... Uh, what are we gonna fly in a quick hop? We're gonna do a quick hop in the um, Embraer and then we're gonna hop into the A350 and uh, head on out to I don't know where we're gonna go And they're making a Boeing 777X nice, uh, what route should we fly in the uh, A350? I'm thinking we should head it over to Haneda, uh, Tokyo, whatever we have just released ENM. What, what's that? I'm sorry, but this, these clouds right here look exactly like how it is in P3D. They look exactly like P3D. KSFO to EGLL. Uh, who flies KSFO to EGLL? Uh, 
Uh, we could do British Airways. But that's still not long enough of a flight. That's only 13 hours. I'm looking towards the 15 hour to 17 hour mark. So like KSFO to Munchen. Yeah, we'll do KSFO to Munich or to EKCH. Even EKCH to go in SAS. That seems like a pretty good flight. SAS, um, San Francisco to Copenhagen. I think that's what we'll do for um, the Twitch stream. San Fran to Copenhagen. EGL Ella to WSS Singapore Airlines. We could go to WSS. That's also a, a, a possibility. Uh, Heathrow to WSS. We just don't have the good Heathrow scenery. That's pretty much it. And yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. I think I'm, I think San Fran to uh, Copenhagen or Copenhagen to San Francisco would be good because we're continuing off from here. Because think about it, we're leaving off from Copenhagen. So, I think that's what we'll do. We'll do a Copenhagen to there. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Took a 14 hour flight. Let's say we start at 9.30. Um, if we start at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, right, and let's say we're adding Let's say 13 hours. That's going to be at 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. That should be fine. We can do that. Uh, sorry, KSFO to WSS. Is that... Is that long as that? Can we even do that? Oh, we can. That's a 20-hour flight. And they do it in the A350-900 as well. Yeah, we're doing that. Thank you. We're doing uh, San Francisco to um, uh, Singapore and the A350-900. That's a real-world flight, apparently, with Singapore Airlines and everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that. San Francisco to, to WSS and the A350-900. <laughs> like that's a 20-hour flight, roughly. That's insane. All right, let's go see about signs on. That ortho looks pretty good. There's that left-hand turn, beautiful. Uh, all right, let's see. here yeah so i hope you get I, that'll, that'll be a, quite a fun flight uh for us to do i'm looking forward to that that will be quite cool it's kind of just editing something real quick uh so. 
Yeah. Mm. There we go. Just editing something. Take a look, we're at 10,000, passing through 10,000 light lights. Boom. Fat page, cabin status, cabin, uh, all of that. It's good. Looks good. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to make sure that we got seven people watching right now. Yeah, it's cool. Canada's doing a test stream test. Nice. Nice. Huh. What's a Metar like? Um, Metar is... Uh... 290 at 6 knots, uh, Kavik, uh, 21 degrees, 1010 QNH. Everybody doing welcome aboard everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so 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 much for taking some time out of your busy schedules to come and hang out with me as we fly some beautiful airplanes in the beautiful virtual skies on our brand new computer. Welcome aboard everybody. Can you guys hear me okay? Is everything going well? Everything's going good. Webcam works. It's not on. I've already tested the webcam. We don't need to test webcams. Webcams work just fine. Um, there's a couple things that we want to test today. Um, I got a new, new, new camera set up for you guys, but it looks good. It looks like it's nice and decent there. So new camera for that guy we're going to test out. Um, I wanted to make sure that the microphone was working well. I wanted to make sure that um, Streamlabs was working well. I just saw a subscription, so it looks like Streamlabs is working well. Um, so welcome aboard, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. I must be um, off to Mondo Nova. A bit of, uh, rip, oh, rip, no, I'm good here. Special here. Um, I figured we should just <laughs> uh. jump right into it and, and do a proper test of, uh, of, of, of explain Hi. and see how. All right, cool. Um, I must be off to Mondo Nova. Rip, I'm good here. Uh, Nate. Look at that. I wonder what airport that is so like lonely uh, our airport is right over there if you guys can see it and there's the lod thing that, that you guys see um we'll arm this guy very th cool
All right, so 1010 zero, zero was, I think, our Q&H. Yes, it was. All right, cool. Um, we're going to go 3,000 and hit approach. We have a constraint at 3,000, but let's see. I want to see if he... 7 gigs of VRAM off the 1080 Ti. Um, so yeah, the only thing that I can really do... Another thing as well, guys, is, is today I'm looking at, I'm looking at temperatures. Um, that's the big thing. I'm looking at temperatures. I want to see... Uh, can I... A little bit of... Conf everybody. Um, new PC. So far, through the tests that I have done, I have not really done anything... Um, on the CPU, I'm watching the GPU. I'm just making sure temperatures are fine. Um, everything's going well. Obviously, the GPU load is going to be much more, hey. uh, heavier because I am running uh, the streaming software on the GPU. Um, so I've also been taking a look and wondering if I want to maybe um, put the uh, put, put the uh, software on the CPU. But we're going to see. We're going to see how it goes. We'll see what things do. Um, so yeah, just basically just looking at things here, taking everything in. All right, cool. All right, we'll go flaps one. What FPS you getting? Uh, George's FS videos, I'm getting about 36 FPS right now. 36 FPS. Uh, in the Flight Factor uh, A350. Alright. Go. Let's pause that. Alright, cool. We're coming up on here. We'll go... A little bit on the higher side. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We'll go gear down, flaps two. We'll arm the speed brakes. Alright, cool, 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 cool. A little bit high. A little bit on the higher side. I'll expedite the descent here. Should be able to grab the localizer pretty soon. 2,500. You'll see it capture the glide, uh, the glide slope pretty soon here. Just get up there it is. Glide slope captured, and missed approach is going to be 3,000 feet. We'll go flaps config three. There we go. And look at that log that it's going to load in. Look at that. It's just a little bit under 35 FPS, which is why. It's, um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's go joystick, stinger, and get this guy on. Wonderful. Flaps full. Ready to go. All right, lighting rates in chat, guys. There you can see it's going to load in more LOD. Um, there you go. Alright, so landing now. A One little five. bit low. On the lower side. But, um, yeah. Do the 
the negative two, 223. I got negative 60 uh, yesterday on a, in this thing. Approaching two, six, right. All right, cool, a little bit high. Now the problem why you're seeing a lot of these things start to render in is because my FPS 500. is just under 35. Which is why it's, uh, yeah. 400. The fly factor is very heavy on performance, so. Yeah. 300. 100 above. And a little bit high. Let's get under that. There we go. Minimum. Planting. 100. Little bit of that crosswind here. 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. Retard. Five. Oof. That was butter, dude. All right, let's get back on the center line. That was smooth as hell. Knots. 70 knots, manual braking, 60 knots, those idle reverse, so the reversers, yeah, that was exciting, uh, landing lights, well, 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 that was exciting, Exciting indeed. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and approaching zero eight right. Let's get the joystick out. Cycle the flight directors again. Go stand by. There we go. Stir up that APU. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Berlin Tegel. And we'll take it all the way out to there. Alright, so landing rate on that one was negative 93 FPM. Literally creamed the shit out of that landing. Uh, so, uh, from takeoff to landing was about 56, 56 minutes. And slow down that taxi a little bit. Yo, we're gonna take, obviously, one of these gates up to the top up here that was fun that was fun indeed there we go all right uh so that's all good there Okay, so we're gonna take one of these gates back here. Berlin Tegel, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I have 
no clue. Uh, all right, let's come down here and set the park brake. Engine number two can't come off. And AP available, we'll go engine number one. Stop the chrono. There we go. And we'll get the gates connected. Yep. APO bleed, beacon, seatbelt sign, uh, fuel pumps. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Berlin. Holy shit, frames just died on us there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Berlin Tegel. 56 uh, minutes from takeoff to landing. Uh, 64 minutes, so an hour and four on our uh, chrono here, which is uh, from engine start to engine when the engines were there. And an hour and nine on our block time there, so. We got there pretty efficiently. There's the. Uh, uh, PTU barking that you can hear, and there's the windmilling of that. All of this to a uh, probably gonna turn it into a capture if you see it some more. But um, <coughs> the air piece a little bit a little this back over here. No, something with the scenery order. That's what happens. He had something with his uh, scenery order. That's why the he quit X plane, I think. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Berlin Tegel and the Five Factor A320. Oh baby, this thing is just beyond sexy, dude. Oh my god. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Um. Let's take a look at that replay. So the, the thing I'm gonna do here, let's complete the flight. That was negative 93 FPM, 1.1 G as well. Which is super soft. Um, let's take a look at the replay on that. So there we go. Uh, let's do this, let's go replay. I think I have a... All right, I'm gonna get the replay song out real quick. Um, let me do something real quick. Uh, let me add a, um, I need to go image, right? So let's go dirt. I think that was it. Uh, uh, where was it? I kept all my, like, little dirts and whatnot in, um, like a video FX thing. I don't remember where that is. Oh, I had it. I had it somewhere here. A realistic frame volume package one. It's in my documents. Uh, there. So if that, hold on. Uh, window frame collection. Uh, let's first do types of glass. I think it was smudgy. Yeah, smudgy. And then let's bring down the Capacity. Uh, where is this? Color correction. Let's bring down the opacity a bit to like, let's say 20. And then let's add another image. I didn't do this, so I need to add this real quick. I'll add a uh, window here. Uh, window frame. We'll go center corner here. Then we'll increase the size of it to like this. Uh, I'm trying to see here. Um, okay, can someone mo uh, back at? Okay, piss off, dude. Piss off. Uh, 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 remove. Not that. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, there you go. Uh, if someone can ban him, that'll be great. Thank you very much. Uh, whoever bans him first gets a cookie. Um, yeah.
Yeah, so, yeah. Whoever can ban him first, I'll give you a cookie. Alright, that's good, too. Alright, cool. Um... Yeah, that's good. Now let me just group this real quick. I'll call it window. God damn it. Fine. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's... Let's take a look at the replay here. That actually coincidentally out. Managed to work out here. Let's take a look. All right, that was pretty smooth. I like that. All right, let's take a look at it here. That was pretty nice. Oof, that was pretty smooth. Yeah, that was really smooth, dude. Take a look at it from Shift 2 view. Back this up. This is ALES and AEP, which is why the scenery looks really, really good. Because of those two. And, oof. Damn, dude, that is just smooth as all hell. Let's back that up. Let's go uh, from here. Let's view it from here. That was bloody awesome. Uh, landing, dude. Geez, dude. Solid landing. Um, let's take a look at it from over here. And then we'll have one last uh, little look at it. And yeah. Oof, dude, that was. That was gnarly, bro. Damn. All right. And then we'll have it from here. The last view. And then I'll go ahead and load up our next flight here. So last view for y'all. And then I'll load up our next flight.
welcome back guys um, we're here in the same aircraft we're just uh, gonna take it out to uh, EKCH Copenhagen that's gonna be nice uh, all right so let's head down to the McDo and get it all situated since everything else is already in there it's just literally just um, I mean the second time around is much quicker than the first time around as far as uh, this because the irises and everything are all um, aligned so that is good uh, easy uh, 2568 right so flight plan D departure on my 26 right on the Rakil 3L and then from Rakit uh, Mike 725 to Labus Lebez. And then from Lebez, we're going straight up to our arrival. This is such a um, simple flight plan. It's insane. ILS 30, Monad 2D. And then clear that disc on. And let's see. Not like that. Let's go to land. Coming in like this. It's uh, manual to see I-30. Or we could even, let's see. If it goes like Hubis, that, let's say we clear the vector and we just go like that. That could work. Yeah, that could work. Now let's come down here and let's get our alternate flight plan in. To Simeg. Then from Simeg, we'll go in Airways, which is uh, Mike 76. To Salo. And then Mike 44 to Kagem. Mike 44 to Kagem. Then Mike 725 to Rodep. 25. And then I'm gonna go temporary flight plan. Berlin, runway 26 right. Oh, Golbo 1 Hotel. And temporary flight plan. Clear those discons and boom. Essentially, we should circle back to where we are right now, which is actually quite funny, uh, at least I find it to be quite humorous, but whatever, um, we need to delete the secondary flight, okay, uh, Berlin to Berlin, yep, and, uh, arrival, uh, two, uh, three zeros, so, Six right, and then progress E K C H. And it's cost the next is going to be five. We're taking it at two eight zero. Wind data. I'm just going to get the wind request. I'm a bit too lazy to actually put in the winds uh, now. So yeah, cool. Um, let's go. I want to go to the states and let's just save it. Just in case it crashes, which I don't know if it will or if it won't, but just to be on the safe side. All right, let's come down here. Let's go to the fuel truck. Let's call this guy. Fuel is going to be 6046. And we'll set that. So let's go to fuel 6040. Good. Move this guy. We'll go. Uh, yeah, gate call. Good. Uh, ha Captain Rick, how's the landing? Negative 91 FPM. You can rewind it a little bit if you uh, want to. You can rewind it just a bit. 
Sorry about that. We'll go uh, 126. We'll click get and we'll set that. As far as cargo goes, uh, zero fuel weight is fine. We want not what I meant to do. We want on our zero fuel weight 62.2. 62 to 0, yeah, 58554, so about 3646 on this guy, so 3646, set, remove, and that should be it, um, okay, let's start up our APU now. Because uh, you know flaps open and all. I don't know. Might have done bad math. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go perf data. And that's yeah, whatever. Set. To let those guys do its thing. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty smooth. Um. Also, the flight control is at 0 0.2 up, and uh, can't adjust it because the hydraulics. Okay, APU is available. We'll go ahead and hop onto our APU, grab our beacon light, ground power unit. Let's go, Sam. And we're going to push back tail. Ground right. to combat. Please show me where you want to go. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Alright, packs can come off. Go engine start. And it's gonna be uh, flaps 1 up, 1.4. Flaps 1 up, 1.4. And then flex out, we're gonna go 38. There are our V speeds, 130. There we go. Ready to push back and get everything started. Best sentence ever. Why are we flying in Germany uh, so often? Because <laughs> I have really good scenery for Germany. And we fly in Germany every Friday, I guess. But we can change that up. Because he bought EDDM and EDF. Well, okay, get his money over. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Second uh, break. Nick, Nick, I think Nick said it well. Cool. We can fly to UK. Um, we're gonna fly all across the UK on Saturday, which is tomorrow. So look forward to that if you're a UK kind of guy. Bloody thing is uh how connected and bypass been inserted, release parking brake. Alright. Can you do some VFR in the Netherlands? Push back. And you may stop the engines. I'll link you a scenery later, freeware. Uh throttle level uh, not at idle. There we go. Cool. That'll be good if you can link me some scenery for uh, the UK. In the event of an evacuation, escape pad lighting will appear. Follow the lights until you've reached your exit. Leave all carry-ons behind. Just head quickly and safely to the nearest exit. And don't forget, it may be behind you. Now, if the airplane loses pressure, oxygen masks will drop automatically while remaining seated with your seatbelt fastened. Start up engine number one. I'll let you guys listen to the uh, engine sounds.
Let's uh, bring this back a little bit. Oof, look at that PBR, dude. That looks sick as all hell. Laps one. Hey, yo, welcome back. Huzzah, welcome back, dude. Operation complete. Please set parking brake. Alright, let's set the park brake. Disconnecting tow. Uh, Stand by. Norm. Let's clip down here. Foot control. We want to be up 1.4. Odd brake smacks, start the chrono, scum up top, AP bleed, AP master, take off config, cabin, we need to check that, oh look at that, I didn't even see that, I got the power core, oh no, 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 not this thing again, this fucking glitch, dude, uh, beauty panel, I have no clue why it does that, Motherfucker, dude. Now it's disconnected and Viper spin has been removed. Hand signal on the so right. Weird. I'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Alright, uh, take off config tests. And for my lights, let's get those guys on. And let's uh, get out of here. Looks good, looks good. Uh, on, follow me. Alright, I got the thing, it's a short fucking taxi. Yeah, it's fine. Harry, yeah, welcome aboard, Harry. Welcome, dude. <laughs> I feel like my rudder pedals are a bit, mm, whatever. All right. It right, looks like we're looking like this then. Huh, that's interesting. But I, whatever. Um, let's see. So what we're gonna do is make a right turn here. Alias V2, yes. Alias V2 plus airport environment package or whatever that AEP was by um, Xcoder. That's the thing that gives us these terminals looking a lot better. That's AEP. All of the ground textures is Alias V2. So, really good. Actually, rivaling um, the airsoft scenery for um, Berlin, in my opinion. take Sierra Echo to 26 right which is good there we go Sierra Echo Explains hogging up my CPU like anything right now, which is uh, weird. But hey, where does all hell? Pro 
approaching two six left. Go. And let's go. Lighting lights. Strobe lights. Bing bong them. Let them know we're about to take off. All right, and I'll go. Approaching two six right. Joystick. On runway two six right. Flex Togo's in chat. Man flex. That's what's climb runway now. V1 road, this thing is just flying, dude. I was ready to gear up. Yo, dude, this thing is just like zipping on out, bro. Holy shit. Oh, man. That is gorgeous, dude. That is fucking gorgeous as all hell. Oh man. All right, let's get some. Okay, that's good. Let's uh. Omg, those engines. Yes, those engines are juicy, dude. Uh, hi, do you work with Captain Canada? Because he mentioned you on his stream. Nice. Um, I don't work with Captain Ca like, I don't know what you mean by work with. I do talk to him and I did help him, um, with, um, with, uh, what's it called? Um, his new PC build and setting things up. I guess you could call, if you call that working, like, with him, I guess? Yeah, sure. I don't know. The easiest way to say it is I'm his, like, personal tech support guy i think that's the easiest way to because like you see like on stream right what we do is like as soon as we hit cruise you do some pc part picker building lists and do all these different things like that right i'm kind of the guy um you know i i talk to him uh oh, jesus christ this thing's gonna start whining at us um Yeah, so I'm the I I talked to him about you know like how, ways that he can um did you you see the specs I put together yeah that's uh, I'll, I'll look at it um you know ways of making the stream look nicer um, things to make his hardware run better um and all those little improvement tips is what I give so like I'm his tech support there and then we also chat about you know like regular stuff and whatnot um so I guess yes to answer your question um yes. But, uh, yeah. Look at that LOD. Absolutely bonkers, dude. Hold on. Oh, that is... That is... Oh. Dude, all of those objects is just so nice. Alright, let's get the joystick uh, out of here. Alright, I'm gonna look at the specs that you put together. Uh, let's see, was it in PC builds? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. So 64 gigabytes of 4,000 CL18 RAM. That's nine second latency. Can you get... You can get, they offer 5,000, 5,000 megahertz CL18 memory, which is beyond insane 5000 but really with those really really high frequencies is really going to benefit AMD builds especially because of the um 
the uh, Infinity Fabric. Um, a Dashi is fine, a Kraken X73 is pretty good. Um, it's actually really good. <laughs> Uh, those SSDs look fine. Uh, a 2080 Ti Strix, good. One thing though is the Lian Li PC, those towers are more meant for open loop systems. You could work with an AIO, but they're more like specific towards these uh, open loop systems. And that, that, um, I don't know why you would ever get a Seasonic Prime Platinum 1300 watt. Because the estimated wattage is, like, what, barely going to be, like, 650 at the most. So, I mean, it's a pretty good build. You can tweak it a little bit more, I guess, to make it look nicer, I guess. You heard about that on Squirrel's latest video about his new build. AMD chips need better RAM or timings on it. Um, yeah, I went mental on the PSU. Yeah, um, AMD really does um, benefit from uh, RAM. Oh, Jesus, dude, look at that outlawed. Um, because of the fabric clock. Fabric clock, um, it's in a, you want the fabric clock in a one to one ratio with your, uh, just hit some key, with your uh, DRAM frequency. Um, So because of the one-to-one -one ratio on your um, on your fabric, Infinity Fabric Clock, Infinity Fabric is the reason why AMD chips really need um, a high-frequency RAM. And if you have good timings, that'll help for sure. Samsung B die is great; they're really good on overclocking. And uh, yeah. Brilliant. We're at eighteen thousand. This thing climbs really pretty well. <clears throat> yeah, I can get my lights here. There we go. That's good. <clears throat> what mods are you using for the A320 and 350? All shots of the streams look great. Okay, so for mods on the A320, I use the Matavia version 4 mod with all of the little features. I can actually tell you them right now. So I use the Matavia version 4 with a 320. I use the gray cockpit. Um, they're warm lights, the ground handling preset mod, and the interior lights mod. The A350 I'm using the vertical sim cockpit. That's pretty much it. So nothing too, too fancy, you know, just your everyday kind of thing. Okay, nice. Yeah, not too much. Um, look at that. You have the, um, I, is that the Berlin? I have no clue what that is supposed to be. Um, it, oh, it does the Berlin wall still exist today? Is the Berlin wall still standing? Only remnants remain. Uh, cause there's just this, see that? I don't know what this structure is. See that structure? Is that, that could be the wall. See how it's like, it's all broken. It's not, it's not all together. That could be the remnants of the Berlin wall. That is actually pretty damn dope. Taking a screenshot of that. 
Also, it turns out my PC came overclocked, so I switched to the first XMB profile and ran and went, went up to 2400 MHz. Nice, dude, but 2400 is still a bit. Looks like a terrain issue. No, it, it's the Berlin. It's the rem remnants of the Berlin Wall, right? I have no clue. Right? Hold on. Let me see. Let me look at my live map. This is how we know for sure. Uh, let me go to style satellite. Yeah. So now if I look at this from... Uh, yeah, okay. Let's look. We saw it off in the distance, right? So like... Oh boy. We're seeing it off in the distance... Uh, I have no clue. Yep, I have no clue. <laughs> uh, whatever. It could be a terrain issue. Yeah, I could get it higher, but I don't want to bug it. it looks to be a to, looks too specific to be a terrain issue. That's what I'm saying too. It's weird. I have no clue. Whatever. We'll look on this side so it look makes it less confusing as to what that is. We're at 27,000. I think that's it. A terrain issue or the Berlin, the remnants of the Berlin Wall? I have no clue. We're at our cruise altitude now. Anywho, so. Yeet. The wall? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Looks so nice. What well, looks nice? Top of descent. Let's enter the destination data. Oh no, how bad is his <laughs> sim in general? Well, <laughs> Ace, I think it's Ace, right? You're Ace. Yeah, for sure. Ace, Ace, welcome aboard, dude. Uh, 300 at 12 knots. God damn it. And we're taking what? 3 0. That's perfect. That's perfect. We're going to have a 12 knot headwind. Wonderful. Uh, temperature is 16 degrees. QNH is 1, 6. Uh, decision height, runway 3 0. Uh, is going to be 194. Okay. Beautiful. Yay. 65 out. This EDM music is funky as hell, <laughs> but okay. That's pretty ace. Ace image ortho as well. Ace, yeah, ace. Oh, welcome aboard, ace. This is so weird. This love my ed. What? Okay, that's better. Hey, you didn't fly through Jacksonville today. I didn't fly through Jacksonville because by the time I um, I went live, you went offline. You said you were on for another hour. I started streaming at 2.20? No, I went live at... I went live at... 2.35, and I asked at 1 o'clock. <laughs> and you said um, you're going to be live for another hour so by the time i went online it was the timing just didn't work out unfortunately um but when are you going to be controlling next oh and check this out ace so see how i'm small and the the sim is big well uh three two one i'm big the sim is small and that looks pretty cool so 
pretty cool. But look at that. Man. Okay. Uh, we're still 54 out. It says 1651. So another like seven, eight minutes? Or uh, well, sorry, six or five minutes. So 447 is when we'll come back to the pit. 447 is 442. Watch this. Okay, Google. Set an alarm at 447. Boom. That way it'll ring when we hit our top of descent. And that is automation. Boom. Pretty cool. This easy jet livery is pretty nice. It's, it's, it's one of, I think it's the dirty texture, but it's still really good. So I did. <clears throat> Holy shit! I did respond to the guy. It's actually insane how we built a PC system for literally 1,400, which was him, and we got three extra, three extra case fans that are all RGB. Colors match up fantastic because we know black, and white, um, black and white go well and if you complement black and white with like a, a lighter blue a very light blue or a very light purple then that looks really really well like this one is black yellow and red they they mix okay um but white black and like a light purple light blue color those look just insane so i'm actually glad i helped this guy out that he asked for one and i'm like yeah shit <clears throat> so, uh, for those of you that are new, again, make sure to smash that subscribe button and the like button, but we're also going to be going live on Twitch, um, later today. We'll be live on Twitch, and we'll be streaming a long haul on Twitch. We did a long haul on YouTube a couple days ago, we're going to be doing a long haul on Twitch, but this time the Twitch long haul is going to be a about 18 hour flight, I think might be around eight, 18 hours. Thank you, Nick, for the for the link. Um, about an 18 hour flight um, from San Fran to Singapore. And that is gonna be epic. Very nice, very epic. Um, so that is gonna be that. New follower. Uh, Ace has followed us on Twitch. Thank you for the follow, Ace. I just watched the landing IRL and they clapped. Nice, dude. So Nick sent me this thing for EGHQ Ultimate, and uh, yeah, this thing is insane. It looks really, really good. Uh, yeah. He also, he also made the one with the Gibraltar. Yeah. We'll be heading over into the UK, some UK flights later. Okay, there it is. Should be hitting our top of descent soon. There we go. And 3,000. Ba boom. Let's 
starting our descent. Yeah, the runway isn't very long, lol. Is there any good jersey freeware? Um, there isn't any, like, jersey freeware that I know of. Um, there, there's runway 26. They make a good jersey seat. There's TDG scenery for jersey. There's TDG and there's runway 26 or whatever. I don't know. Uh, not worth it for the payware, yeah. Look at those clouds. And rip ortho. Huh. Uh, TDG isn't too bad, actually. Flight Simmer Ben, welcome aboard, Flight Simmer Ben. Oh, welcome, welcome, dude. Uh, both small runways bring your hard hats and insurance. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Nick. For sure. Where are we? Where in the frick are we? Because I might not have uh, ortho for, like, this. I have ortho for Copenhagen, but I don't have ortho forever. we are right now. Oh, okay. I see where we are. We're, um, we're at the very, very top of Germany. Uh, I don't know how to, like, we're at, uh, Stralsund or Greifswald. We're right over the, uh, Greifswalder Boden. Greifswalder Boden. And I don't have ortho for there, but we have a beautiful... Custom ortho and Flight Tampa's ortho around the airport with the custom mesh for Copenhagen. So don't worry about that, guys. We're, we're good there. But small runways bring your hard hats and insurance. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, do you want to see the IXCG? We haven't flown the IXCG in a hell of a long time. Do you want to see the IXCG in a jersey tomorrow? Uh say and shout and chat for that and I'm really pleased with this uh, chip 5.1 gigahertz and it's just cruising along Uh, look at it from like here, yeah. No, like that. Looks pretty damn good. Uh. What's it worth buying? A uh, good CPU or good GPU? Both are pretty important to be honest with you both are pretty important captain neil what's up man how are you dude welcome work hope you're doing well jay wong there is no one all right still cruising or still descending sorry we're at twenty five thousand, roughly
All right, so. Take a look down here. Uh, predicted to 1709, which is like 15 minutes. I have 15 more minutes left of this flight, guys. And then we're headed over to, uh, yeah. Here and then EKCH. Ah, oh, there is our. Uh, there's our ortho. Yay. Uh, the flight tempo Las Vegas kills FPS. All the strip is animated and billboards work and light up and flash. It's amazing, but it's getting 25, 30 FPS on final, but had world objects on max. Well, Nick, use the auto view lot that I have. And instead of putting your world objects on max, you can keep it on the high setting. But with this, set your frame rate target to, let's say, 40, 45 FPS. And then if you get 45 or higher FPS, it pushes the lot of distance to so um it'll push the law of distance even more so the thing with the x-plane is if you increase that world object slider to the max the density is very dense but how far you can view that is uh, still limited but with this it makes it means you can see so much more without having to adjust that world object slider and it's variable meaning depending on your fps it will reduce it and i have mine is set up so that no matter my fps it will never be worse than what the default X-Plane values are. It will never go below that. It will always be at or above the X-Plane stock settings, dependent on my FPS. Yeah, I saw that. I'll take a look at it. All right, cool, cool, dude. Pretty dope. They just issued a hurricane warning for Texas. Oh, that's gonna be a bit iffy, dude. <laughs> that's gonna be a bit iffy. She'll have ways to go, but we're getting there. Those sounds are just so nice in the easy jet. So, hmm.
Damn, they'll just have to sit in a bathtub during a hurricane. <laughs> That's great, dude. Great, dude. What they told us at school, lol. <laughs> no, for a hurricane, either you move or you're screwed. That's basically it. Dependent on how intense it is. If you're in a bathtub, you're fucked. I, I, you're fucked. But, um... We haven't gotten many hurricanes. We've only gotten a bunch of, um... We've gotten a few tornadoes here and there, but we haven't really seen a bunch of hurricanes. The Hurricane Center has to give two days warning, and since the storm is rapidly intensifying, yeah. You have a little bit limited time, and you have to immediately vacate, otherwise you're basically fucked. So 2020 is basically a shit, shit show. Um, if we can somehow delete this year, that would be great. Um, if anyone knows how to do that, please DM me, and we'll go ahead and delete <laughs> this year. As it's absolute shit. And here's my custom ortho. There it is, custom ortho. For, uh... Yeah, Copenhagen, look at that, um... Water. You can still see, there's obviously the waves, it's just, it's... Very good. <laughs> You're not really gonna see the waves until we, um... Until we get closer up to the waves, then you're really gonna probably see it, but... Look, oh, that is Nutella, dude. That is Nutella, bro. That is just a Nutella view. As for tornadoes for Hurricane, it's I should stay or I should go. Yeah, pretty much. Was close to home. Most people confuse them. It's fine. <laughs> no. All right, there's our turn in. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I was also told you can hide under a motorway express bridge. Oh, you're fucked if you do that. I'm pretty sure. Motorway express bridge. Cause, yeah, you want to be at a higher altitude, not lower, right? Well, there's that law distance. See how it, you can see the actual buildings at an altitude this high up? That's what you can do with this law tool. Because otherwise you'd have to zoom in all the way for you to be able to see it. But with this you can do it like that, which is phenomenal. So for our Twitch stream today, we're going to go from... San Diego to San Francisco, I think. I think we'll do that. Uh, San Diego to San Francisco. That's about an hour flight. And we can do it in... We'll do it in the... 
Okay, for the Twitch stream, do you want the first leg to be on the Zebo 737 or the Tolis A321? We haven't flown the Tolis in a hell of a long time. I think I'm, I'll bring the Tolis out for that flight. We're about to go under 10,000 here. Tolis rant. <laughs> Lol. Let's um. Let's see if I go to CPU. Uh, the uh, hardware info. And I click on Run. Uh, if I look at it. All of them are at five gigahertz, but it can technically go up to 5.1. It technically can push to 5.1. Um, I might just, because right now it's sitting at five gigahertz, not five, not 5.1. No, and none of the cores are at 5.1 right now. Um, but again, the usage of them are not too high either. But uh, I can probably try pushing it a little bit more. But we'll, uh, we'll see. You can see the, um, the waves uh, from the, the ocean. Oh wow, that is sexy as all hell. That is beautiful, dude. Alright. Under 10,000. Spotify can go off. Let's bring this back up. Please turn off any laptop computers and stop them. All right, so going out to 3,000 and then in like that. The seatbelt sign is on. Please be seated and fasten your seatbelt. To prepare for landing, please close your tray table and put away carry-on items. Place your seat. We could see the wow, that's cool. With footrest stuck and headrest lowered. We have to admit, this looks kicking, dude. Please put away larger electronic oh, look at that. Including laptop computers. Secure smaller handheld devices in your hand or seat pocket. Devices must remain in your hand. That is gorgeous. Okay, looks like we're going to land soon here. Um, we want... Uh, it's 9,000 feet in length. We'll go auto brakes low. There we go. Continuing our descent down. Oh, dude, hold on. Dude, that is actually, that is so beautiful. Hold on, that, that looks really beautiful. Right there. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Dudes. Holy shit. That looks incredible. I, I, I want to see if I'm... I, I, I am... Um, I'm not... Yeah, I'm still not... Okay, cool. I still don't... That's interesting. I don't clip. I don't clip, I don't clip. No matter how loud I fucking talk, I never clip in this thing, which is great. No clipping, which is good. I'm not clipping, that's great. Um, just close that out. Dudes, that looks just fucking... Yo, dude, that is insane. That is like, boy, <laughs> holy shit, man. That 
That is gorgeous, dude. Alright, um... I'm just gonna go to 3,000, and then I'll, I'll put in 1,600. But... Yeah. Let's see, our missed approach... 3,000. That's fine. Okay, um... 1006. So go. 1006. Then if I can go 1006. Dude, look at that water. Altimeter setting. Motherfucker. You literally said it. What the fuck do you mean altimeter setting? That water just looks so fucking nice. Dude, look at that water, man. Oh my god! That water is just so freaking nice. It's, it's unbelievable. It's so good. It looks like absolute, absolute, like, just amazingness. It's incredible. It really is. Alright, here we go. Yo, dude, that water is... My god, I, I, that water is brilliant. Fucking brilliant, dude. Alright, guys, uh, we're on our final approach now. Look at that lod. Oh, baby. There we go, out constraint, and we're about 10 outs here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and speed it up that. There we go. Arm, speed brakes. Laps one. My god, dude, this, this water just looks water alone if you guys haven't already smashed the like button for that water that water alone deserves the like dude holy shit that looks that looks insane right. we'll go 30. we're still about 10 out right I should be somewhere there. There it is. We'll open descent that now. And expedite that. And we'll push it back in. There we go. We'll go gear down, flaps too. That is insane. Hold on. Ignore this blue tile. I have no clue why that's there, but like... Wow. I mean, that's just speechless, dude. Lapse config 3. 2,500. Runway should be up ahead. Let's go expedite. Ear of rape. Oh, sorry about that, Nick. I apologize. Let's hit approach. Sorry about that. Should 
capture the glide slope now. Um, all right, I'm just gonna disconnect here. Cause this thing is like going bat shit. thing was trying to kill us. There we go. Let's keep that descent rate going down. Flight director's coming off. Flaps full. To get ready to land. There we go. Alright, looks good. Looking good, looking good. We're on our Put in three thousand. In here. All right. Let's get her down. Approaching three zero. A little bit on the lower side. Let's continue that approach. 500. There we go. Not headwind, which is uh, okay. Two hundred minimum landing. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. 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 Five. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was, uh, hard. Yikes. Um, yeah, that was not the best at all. Holy, uh, wait till the flap open, start up that APU. Oh god, that was, um... Yikes! I knew we'd lost it. The fly-by-wire on this was a bit... Oh, man. Oh, well. Uh, pilot Krish, welcome aboard, Pilot Krish. We're gonna take... This one right here. Ouch. There we go. And... Yeah, well that, that was a hard fucking landing. Hard as hell. Alright, we'll take... Let's get right here, Bravo 6.
God damn, dude. <laughs> to do okay park break on engine number two engine number one stop this guy we'll go sam connect him beacon seatbelt signs on. let it do its thing uh, yep, we'll go AP Oblite. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Copenhagen. There we go. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty hard landing. Negative 300 FPM. That was hard. Very hard. Um... Like, ouch. That's probably the hardest we've had yet, if I'm gonna be honest with you about. Block time, just two minutes under an hour. And we were scheduled for an hour and one, so we're about like one, three minutes ahead of schedule. But, um, yeah, ouch. That was a hard fucking landing. All right, let's go to the replay mode. Welcome back, guys, to the replay mode. Let's toggle that replay and let's back it up. Uh, that's not it. God damn it, dude. Every freaking time we have to manually do this on most airports. Like, there we go. Hmm, yeah, that's pretty nice. up a little bit. Ooh, nice art. Yeah, that was hard, dude. Oof. Man. Oof. Man, that was, oh man. Right, let's take a look at it from here. Damn. All right, we'll have a look at it from this view. that that was still just very very hard in general man that was insane all right let me reduce the volume of this by a little bit here we go all right we'll view from here and then we'll have That's still very loud, the song is at least. Yeah, that's good. All right, there we go. In the sim, man. Uh, let's get the, this one on again. Does x still make the perf file? Cause I need your wing in engine views, lol. Um, I can give you my no, it doesn't have those per files. X camera has its own. X camera has its own thing. Sorry about that, Nick. But if you get X camera, I can share you all my X camera presets with you. That way you don't have to configure everything. It's like twelve dollars, and it's really worth it. Um, 
It's twelve dollars and really worth it in my opinion. All right, and that's gonna do it for me today here uh, on YouTube. For all of you guys that um, that joined in on the stream, I thank you guys again so much for joining in, tuning in, saying hi, or those of you in the background walking. Um, watching again thank you guys so much for watching for those of you that will uh, catch us on twitch on at 9 30 p.m today uh, i'll see you guys then and for those of you who will see us on um, on youtube i'll see you guys uh tomorrow stay safe guys and i'll catch you guys later uh peace